Uh, traditionally, a pantry is used to store food, right? It's that place in your kitchen where you stack all the boxes and cans and containers that you think you'll ever need. But the truth is, not all pantries are created equal. So that's why Shelf Genie designer Miriam Bogard says that you need to consider giving her a call. And I was just saying that, <laughs> Miriam, because pantries can be the bane of our existence. Yes, they can. Okay, so why are people so frustrated with them? So um, normally, you know, there's um, a few key points here. Canned goods are a frustrating part of any pantry. You stack cans, you can't reach to the back. You're frustrated because you take cans out, put them on the counters to get to the cans that you need in the back, and you don't really know what you've got in that pantry. The other thing is we live in the fronts of our pantries. You know, it's convenient. We want the closest place to put all of the food. And when we have equally distributed vented shelves in our pantry, you just have a hodgepodge of food everywhere in there. Right, and that's when I notice, you know, you stack a lot of things and those vented wire shelves, things fall over all the time. Mm -hmm. It goes from being organized the day you, you, you know, get home from the grocery store to being a mess all right. the time. Right. And then you've got expired food in the back because mm -hmm. you can't reach it. Yes, and we do say that once you do decide to do the pantry, um, you know, in the process of taking everything out of the pantry for us to install it, you do discover expired foods and you also have a better inventory of what you've got and what you need. And we say that with our glide outs, you can effectively cut and save money at the grocery store by knowing what you have and where it is. Okay, that's even better. Let's look at some before pictures. These are amazing to me, A, because I think I see myself in them, mm -hmm. but B, because people really do try and fit you know, the world inside of their pantry, don't they? Yes, that's exactly right. What you're looking at here is your t is your standard closet pantry. Um, you've got some vented shelves. Again, everything is dispersed um, equally and you're not maximizing the space in between each shelf. You know, here you look at, you're looking at added um, space savers on doors of cabinets. Sure. Um, people do that um, a lot to think that they're, you know, becoming more efficient and organized. But really, if you would just concentrate on using the depths of your pantry and use it efficiently, we can really help you out. Okay. And this is the other thing I didn't realize, Miriam. There are uh, like 18 different kinds of pantries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's go through because you can do something for everybody with every kind of pantry. The first one, a cabinet pantry. What, what does that look yeah, like? Yeah, so your cabinet pantry is just a taller version of a lower cabinet that you have in your home. The nice thing about them is they are very deep and you can store a lot of things in there. But the frustrating part of it is oftentimes you have accessibility problems, abilities to get to the backs of things, and it becomes very frustrating. You know, typically your cabinet pantries have shelves in them, which is very nice, but they're oftentimes um, a hindrance to see in the very backs of that cabinet. So the glide out shelves are what you're doing to be able to help these. And the other one we're going to look at next, and you can do this in this as well, is the bifold pantry. Yeah, so in some homes, you know, you have this bifold door that um, is an accordion style door that pushes open and um, your um, space width of the of the open air space to get into your pantry is sometimes limited and sometimes you find bifold doors on both sides and it's a much larger pantry however what we can do is we can take those doors and make them rigid so that they close and open like a standard closet pantry door does and it would open up the width of that space making it easier and um, more functional for you to get into I want to mention quickly Miriam because there are a couple uh, different ones, the double wide and the walk in. Those are kind of bigger spaces mm -hmm. that you can really work with, do a lot there. And then there's also the classic closet pantry, which is what we talked about at the beginning. And you've got solutions for all of these. Sure. How should somebody get in contact with you? Yeah, so like last evening I was at an appointment and um, the woman says to me, oh, I'm sure you can't do anything with this walk-in pantry. And I said, well, I'm really sure that we can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and no situation is something that we 
haven't seen, experienced, and designed before. Um, so don't worry about what your pantry looks like. We want to be able to help you. We want to be able to um, organize your life and make life simpler for you. So as you're cooking and um, doing the things in the kitchen that we all enjoy, you're having fun doing it and you're not frustrated with not being able to find things or not having enough space. Okay, so you're taking the frustration out. There is the phone number, the website on screen. Give Miriam or someone from the Shelf Genie team a call. Thanks yeah. for being with us. Thanks.